So in this video, I'm going to tell you why or why not you should buy the Nikon 35mm or should you buy the 50mm equivalent 1.8. Stay tuned. In my first video about the Nikon DX AFS Nikkor 35mm 1.8 aperture lens, I usually get a lot of comments on this review and it usually goes along the lines of should I get the 35 1.8? or should I get the 50 mil 1.8? And the truth is they're both the exact same. The only difference is the focal length. So I'm gonna talk about why or why not you should pick up the 35 or the 55, I mean the 50, because you, I always get comments, 35 or 50, 35 or 50, 35 or 50. I'm gonna ask you three simple questions and that will help you determine which lens that you should buy. So let's say you don't have a 35 or 50 mil any sorts. So you don't know the proper focal length range. So the first thing I would do is I would figure out and pick up a kit lens and figure out is that the right focal length for you? So this is assuming you have a kit lens because most people don't really get to have their hands on a prime if they haven't bought it yet. So chances are, if you have something along the lines of an 18 to 55 millimeter zoom lens, then you can actually see what the focal length will be like for you. For example, I'm using my 17 to 50 Sigma lens, and all I really need to do is to put it on 35 millimeters, which is right here. And this is, would be the focal length of a 35 millimeter prime. Because remember, prime lenses are fixed focal lengths, meaning, meaning you can't zoom in or out. They're fixed focal lengths. So on a crop sensor, a 35 millimeter times 1.5 crop factor zoom, this is what it's gonna look like on your Nikon camera. This is at 35. So if you think you wanna be a vlogger or you wanna be this or that, this is gonna be the roughly how it would look like versus if you just got a normal zoom lens, that's how far I am. I'm roughly around an arm's length reach. So if I put it to 35, this would be the focal length. So it's up to you to decide, is this the right focal length or the kind of look that you want? And if you want, you don't want the 35 and you want the 50 mil equivalent 1.8, then you just zoom your kit lens or your zoom lens to 50 millimeters. And this is how tight the framing would be. And once again, I wanna emphasize that I am an arm's length away from the camera, and this is how it would look like. Remember, this is gonna be the fixed focal length. So this is how the images, the videos will look, 35 and 50. Those are the essentially the two differences between these two lenses. They both have 1.8 aperture, and they don't have vibration reduction, they have manual MA and manual settings, and that's about it. These lenses overall are overall pretty cost efficient and budget friendly. And fun fact, the 35 millimeter was my first ever lens that I bought besides the kit lens. Now that you've determined your desired focal length, whether that's 35 or 50 mil, then you need to figure out, are you more of a photographer or are you more of a videographer? Because 50 millimeter, in my own opinion, isn't good if you're filming video. It's great for like one person headshots or like portraits. This is what it would look like if I put my 50, if I had a 50 1.8, it would be a very tight framing and composition. And if you're doing photos, I would say yes, those would be a great like portrait lens because you would be standing far away from your subject. But if you're doing things like video or you, especially if you want to make YouTube videos, this would be not the best vlogging lens because I would say it's way too tight and it's good for if you want to emphasize a certain point in a video or you want to be super dramatic and have use the 50 millimeter as like a secondary camera for an interview to have that second angle. But I would say the 50 millimeter is more made for photographers more so than videographers. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it is, it is much more geared towards photography. And right now I have on my Nikon is the, my lovely 35 1.8 millimeter lens. 
And to sum up everything, you really need to figure out what's your desired focal length. For me, my preferred focal length is anywhere from 17 millimeters to 50, and I like to have that zoom range. So my go-to lens is the Sigma 17 to 50, and I like to have the 35 for portraits or anything more cinematic-like, but I would not personally use the 50 millimeter because that is just too tight of a composition and frame for me. But if you're not like me and you do things like photos, you want to do more model photography, you want to do single subjects and talents, and you're much more lean towards like photos instead of videos, definitely pick up the 50 millimeter 1.8 because the only difference between the 1.8 35 and the 1.850 is that it's the focal length. The 50 millimeter 1.4, that is a different lens, but these two are the almost exact same within the same budget set. And you know, it's almost bang for the buck if you can get both. But if you're a video centric person like myself, you would much better rat it off, get the 35 millimeter 1.8 G lens and use this as either a secondary camera, a secondary lens, and use this for more cinematic shots for that shallow depth of field that you're trying to go for. And I've been able to shoot almost a majority of my first client's videos using this lens, which is why I highly recommend the 35 1.8G if you only had money for one lens. And if you did have the budget, it wouldn't hurt to get the 50 millimeter 1.8 for you know having things like portraits and photos but that's my opinion but this is my real world news experience from these two lens focal lengths and ranges so next time you think or ask hmm what lens should i get it really comes down to what am i shooting am i doing photos or videos and what is my primary subject that I'm filming or shooting? My name is Peter. I'm filming on the Nikon 35 1.8G lens right now. And you're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.